Water signs, what's going on? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. How you guys feeling? How y'all doing? Welcome back, those of you that's returning, and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. Thank you guys for rocking and rolling with me. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribes, the donations. I greatly appreciate it all. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North No. Let's get into your next 48. Everything you hear may not necessarily resonate with you. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest of somebody else out there. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs regarding the next 48 hours? Please and thank you. Allow me to see things clearly. This is for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Next 48 for the water signs. Let me get three more shuffles for my water signs, please and thank you. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Next 48. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What's going on, y'all? Let's see. Next 48 for the water signs. The next 48 for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here could have a Taurus moon. The Fool in the reverse. Somebody here feel foolish. Somebody here is extremely codependent. Somebody here is upset because they, they're not receiving something that they thought that they would. Somebody here could have self-sabotaged. Somebody here feels foolish. Yeah, somebody here was expecting some sort of money that they're not getting, period. Water signs, this could be you. This could be somebody connected to you. This could be somebody you're dealing with. This could be somebody that you know. But somebody here was expecting some sort of money and they're not getting that shit. The sun in the reverse. Somebody here could be a Leo. They could have Leo placements. Yeah. Somebody was expecting to take something from an empress. Empress, you could be this... Uh, water signs, you could be this empress, Okay. And they could have been somebody that's unhappy because they thought that they was going to successfully take something from you. They're not getting shit. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. They ain't getting shit. And they could have found this out or they're about to find this out. And they're going to be extremely unhappy. They're going to feel like they did all of this for nothing. I'm hearing I did all of this for nothing. Somebody here feel like a damn fool. They're mad. They talking shit. They walking around. They upset. Somebody here was hoping that they could come towards you and manipulate you in some way. Yeah. King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is like a masculine energy for some of you. This is an opportunist. This is somebody that'll do anything for money. This is somebody that's a thief. Yeah, they wanted to sabotage you. They wanted to take something that belonged to you or your divine inheritance, something that's coming towards you. Some of you could be winning big or there could be a large lump sum of money that's coming towards you in some way, shape, or form. But you got the Ten of Pentacles, water signs. And there's a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or a Leo, somebody with strong earth or Leo in a chart that could be trying to make their way towards you. This person is getting hella karma right now, and they're mad because you don't want nothing to do with them. This person is sending you the evil eye as well because you could have stopped communicating with them. You're ignoring them. You're cold. You're silent. You could have Virgo placements in your chart. Some you could have Libra or Taurus placements in your chart. But whoever you are, you know not to talk to this person. You're not interested in talking to them. This is somebody... That thought that they could do some sort of spell work in order to receive some sort of blessings. Receive your blessings. Receive the um, income, your, your increase or something like that. Somebody here wanted to like just have your gifts. Have And this is like in a, this is in a sense of finances. Like there's a lot of prosperity to, uh, connected to you. And somebody here was doing like financial work on you. So somebody here could have been trying to manipulate your energy so that you won't be able to manifest this Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like everything that you're supposed to get is still coming to you. Um, everything that's owed to you, your divine inheritance, all this money that I keep seeing here, it's like it's, it's coming to you. And somebody here that thought that they could steal or that thought that they could harvest some sort of energy, thought that they could take from you in any way, this person's getting hella karma. This person is sending you the evil eye. Five of Swords, they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken because you're the Queen of Pentacles. You can have Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn in your chart. I told you, we got strong Virgo, strong Taurus. But you can have Capricorn in your chart as well, or Leo, or Libra. You're showing up as the High Priestess, somebody that's extremely intuitive. Some of you may be gifted. You can have psychic abilities. Somebody here that was attacking you could be getting rushed to the hospital. Okay? Somebody here could be getting rushed to the hospital. 
Somebody here could also, something here about a fire. So something here could be burning. Something here could have caught on fire. Somebody here could be having some sort of um, natural disaster. There's a queen of swords in the reverse that's very jealous of you. There's a king of cups in the reverse that's very jealous of you. Somebody here could be an earth sign, um, an air sign or a water sign. Definitely a earth feminine energy and a masculine fire. I mean, a masculine water sign. This person could be ha this person could have fire or water in their chart. Somebody don't want this message to get out. This energy is very draining. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but somebody here could have strong fire and water in their chart. But there's a King of Cups in the reverse, and there's a Queen of Swords in the reverse. So there's a feminine energy walking around, popping her motherfucking gum. She's jealous, heartbroken, sending you the evil eye because none of her magic worked. And then there's a King of Cups in the reverse that's upset because they broke. Somebody here's broke. Yeah, somebody's a Gemini. There's a woman that's a Gemini that's jealous of you. And there's a water sign masculine or a fire sign masculine. Somebody with strong fire or water in their chart that's jealous of you. Somebody here's jealous of your abundance. They're jealous of your home. Somebody here may also need a place to stay. I feel like you are not even answering these people. Or you're not talking to them. You're not interested in letting them stay with you. Um, this could be like a fake ass friend, a coworker, family member. Take it as it resonates. This could even be somebody that y'all used to deal with romantically. But what a sign, whoever you are, you're receiving good karma. You're receiving karmic justice. You could be a Libra. For some of you, this could even be your child's father that needs a place to stay. You, you like, motherfucker, I don't give a fuck what happened to you. I know we got kids, but the way you betrayed me, the way you tried to take me out or destroy me, I don't give a fuck where you stay at. I don't give a fuck where you live. This person is heavily burdened and weighed down. They bitter. They still bitter. They still talking shit. This person knows that they got to give up this spell work. This shit is not working. This shit is actually destroying them. This person going to take themselves out. This is a suicide mission. The magician in the reverse here, the moon card, eight of pentacles reverse. Somebody here need to give it the fuck up. The jig is up. They need to pack it the fuck up. Only thing that they could do is say that they hate you, talk shit about you, and that's it. Because whatever work is they doing, that shit is being mirrored back to them. It's not working. Like somebody here has been waiting to see you fall, waiting to see you fail. Somebody here has also been doing beauty spells on you. That's not working. You still fine as fuck. You could have strong fire, strong Libra, strong Pisces. Uh, Leo energy for some of you. You're getting an offer here, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here has been trying to do beauty spells on you because they don't want people to be attracted to you. Okay? Somebody here doesn't want people to find you attractive, but you're very attractive. You're very attractive. What a sign, whoever you are, you're absolutely beautiful. And whoever this Emperor in the Reverse is, this person don't want people to see you as someone that's attractive. They don't. You showing up as a healer. Uh, the healer, you, you yo, you the shit water signs. Let me just say that. The only reason why this message is like, oh, uh, is because it's draining. This person's energy is very draining. This person also wants to drain you of your good energy. Keep that in mind. So just make sure that you staying prayed up. You protecting yourself. You cleansing your space. You know what to do, baby. I'm, I know you know what to do because you're showing up as the damn high priestess, the empress, and the star. So I know you know what to do. But you could have been feeling this energy or you could have been feeling somebody pulling at you. Or you could have been feeling drained and tired, sleeping more than usual. It's this motherfucker. But anyways, with the star here, you somebody that's a healer. You somebody that knows how to heal yourself. You help others heal. You assist others on their spiritual journeys, on their healing process. Um, you, you, you know, their healing journey, their spiritual journey. You assist others. But you also do a damn good job with helping yourself. Of course, you have to be of service to yourself before you can be any good to others. But this is a part of your life purpose to be of service of, to other people. Um, you could be a reader for some of you. You could be a reader. You could be a messenger here. Um, but you, or you have the ability to read very well. You you very you have the gift of discernment. You have clear intuition. Your your third eye is definitely activated for sure. Some of you are readers, some of you are not, but either way, you're extremely intuitive, highly intuitive. Um, you could be an herbalist. You could be somebody that make your own products or you need to. There's a call for you to make your own products. Something significant about a floor wash. Your floor wash is the best floor wash out there, man. Somebody here make one hell of a floor wash. There's a Capricorn that's hating on you. This could have been somebody that you had a sexual connection with at some point. Uh, this person is losing everything right now. Why you happy? They in heavy regret, disappointed, sending you the evil eye. Mad because you don't want to deal with them. Mad because you don't want to marry them or you don't want to be in a relationship with them. Or they mad because they feel like they missed out on the opportunity to commit to you. This person is getting hella karma right now. And they could be stuck in a karmic situation. They still got some sort of karmic soul tie with somebody. 
somebody here is also very um attractive but they're demonic so i feel like you ain't fucking with them or be mindful of somebody coming towards you that's very attractive they're very demonic this person has an entity attachment somebody here also wants to sleep with you so that they can um harvest your energy in some way shape or form somebody here is trying to attack your lower level uh, chakras but somebody here feels like they need to be intimate with you in order to successfully do this. Somebody here also wants to be intimate with you because it's like they want to release something on you. Like somebody here could also want to transfer an entity to you through uh, intercourse. You need to be careful who you sleep with. Somebody here is also watching you to see who you sleep with. Uh, water signs, if you've been intimate with anybody, somebody was astral projecting and, and spying on you. Somebody's been spying on you through divination to see who you sleeping with. Who you having sex with somebody here wants to watch like somebody here is just invading the fuck out of your privacy this is disgusting this person's disgusting and god is going to deal with this person um trust and believe that if I'm, this to be coming out on my table for this to be coming out in a reading yeah god is going to deal with this person accordingly this person got a lot of fucking nerve invading your privacy like this um somebody here tries to watch you do everything and i and i feel like if you guys are intimate with anybody somebody is spying in that way shape or form too some of you may actually have a lawsuit here i'm hearing something about hidden cameras or something like that some of you may have a lawsuit somebody here could be watching you through cameras or some shit like that somebody here is um somebody here is misusing cameras for some of you i know it's not gonna resonate with all of you don't force it to fit if it's not for you but for some of you somebody here is misusing some sort of cameras and watch like literally watching you fucking disgusting somebody is jacking off to you somebody's obsessed with you it's a cancer a gemini a scorpio somebody with any chart <clears throat> there's also a cancer that was sending you death spells or wishing ill wishing death on you this person is on their last leg this person could be gravely ill or their health is about to suffer in some way shape or form i feel like you don't give a fuck somebody knows you don't care it's just a bunch of bullshit going on what a signs whoever you are keep winning i feel like you have no choice but to win you can't lose you're not gonna lose yeah, nothing is going to be affected as far as your outer appearance either. Like somebody here wants you to be unattractive. That's not going to happen. <laughs> You're extremely attractive. And I feel like it's going to continue to be that way. Somebody here wants to change your looks. They want to change how you how you shape your body. Like somebody here just wants you to be... Somebody here just wants you to look like what you don't look like. So if you have a nice body or you're very fit, somebody here wants you to be sloppy if you very curvy, somebody here wants you to be very skinny. Like, it's like somebody here just wants to change who you are, what you are. They want you to be the complete opposite of that because whoever you are, you are attractive. <laughs> Whether you curvy, you slim, you athletic, it don't matter. Somebody here knows that you're very attractive and they want you to be seen the complete opposite way. It's not working though. I feel like you know it's not working. You showing up as the high priestess, the hermit. You know it's not working. You're a fucking empress. I feel like you are a divine being. Yeah, you are. I don't feel like it. I know you are. Um, you are highly favored and blessed by the most high, the creator God himself. Yes. You have a true anointing and purpose over your life. Yeah, you're someone that's going to continue to have victory and success. You're going to continue to win. Some of you could be in the public eye as well. It's meant for you to be famous or it's meant for you to be world-renowned. It's meant for you to be well-known. Some of you could even be on center stage. You could even have a public platform. Some of you could be like an influencer. Uh, you could be a teacher. You could be somebody that uh, spreads God's word. Because um, I definitely feel like you are a divine messenger for some of you. But you are doing God's work. I feel like you're doing what you called to do. And ain't a motherfucking soul on earth going to stop that shit. There's not a principality in hell. There's not a man on earth. There's not a demon in hell that's going to stop that shit. Period. You're going to continue to be seen as the great leader that you are. As the healer. As the empress that you are. Yeah. As the hermitess. The hermit that you are. You're a great leader. You're wise beyond your years. Some of you have an old soul. Um, you're somebody that's way ahead of your time. No matter how old you are, your soul is, is centuries old. I mean, you are like a reincarnation, whoever I'm talking to. You the shit. And motherfuckers just gonna have to deal with it. Or not. They don't have to look, but they, they obsessively watch you. And somebody here is so obsessed with you, they went as far as to misusing cameras for some of you. And somebody here spying on you through like, through technology or cameras or some shit. Like, that's weird. And if you find this shit out, I would sue their ass. 
Um, but yeah, what a signs. This is your next 48. Take what resonated, leave within. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.